Today on Fresh Vintage Garage, we're checking out the Autel Maxicom MK900. We're going to unbox this, show you everything inside, and then dig into the capabilities. Let's do that right now. Hey everyone, this is Tom with Fresh Vintage Garage. Just like we said, we're checking out the Autel MK900. Big shout out to Autel for sending us over and sponsoring this video. We wanted to take a look at this because we haven't actually had that many Autels on the channel. So we kind of excited to get our hands on this and just see what's inside here. Uh, some quick specs. A lot of this stuff is uh, very common anymore as I try my hardest not to rip this. There we go. Uh, full OBD2 code reading, live data graphing, list goes on. I actually put that on the uh, table here upside down. My bad. Very nice case here. Let's take a look inside. So. Full system diagnosis, like I said, they did not see ECU coding. I wouldn't expect that at this price point, but Autel really does a cool job with giving the accessories section here. And granted, this side is empty, but your actual cable is right here, your OBD2 cable. We will make note, this is the MK900. There is an MK900 BT Bluetooth, so this is the wired guy. Make sure you're taking that into account when you're out there on the internet, looking at pricing and so on and so forth. So. Let's see what else is in here. We have our charging cable. There's actually not much in here. The more I look at this, but uh, really nice unit. If you've ever seen uh, an Autel unit, they're very, very well done. Very finished, very polished. And they put a lot of time and in R&D into their product. Let me just do that. Let's get this thing turned on and we'll let it fire up while I uh, stall for time a little bit and show you there's a camera there. Nice kickstand. The more we touch these scan tools, the more similarities we see. A lot of them have the obviously the ruggedized and they have the actual kickstand. There's more and more of them. You'd be surprised at how many have cameras on them, but it is a, I believe, an 8 inch screen. It's running Android 11, which is nice, uh, 64 gigs of memory, and it has a one year software update included right out of the box and a one year warranty. I make that note to say, uh, we don't know how much it costs to renew the software, so don't ask us now. Ask us in a year in the comments. But uh, it's initializing right now, and take a look at the home screen. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi, and let me just click the home button here. So there is the main screen there. There we go. So our diagnostics. What we're going to do is we're going to jump outside and dig into a car and find all of the different computers in it. We're going to see what we can do with this because this says it has everything from CAN, bidirectional control, DOIP, and the list goes on. 40 reset functions if memory serves correct. So let's jump outside and get plugged in and we'll go see what we can find out right now. So we are inside a 2020 Subaru Outback here. We have the uh, Autel MK900 plugged in. Let's dig into the uh, live data graphing, the code reading, and stick around because we're going to do our best to use the bi-directional control. We should be able to get this driver's side window to go up and down, but uh, let's dive in and show you all that right now. And let's go ahead and dive right into the diagnostics here. And I'm not going to scroll through all of these, although you can tell I used Subaru the last time because it's right at the top. That's actually really convenient. And this was asking me to put a repair order number in. I'm just going to do standalone diagnostics. And something we were checking out off camera is uh, newer cars. This is a 2020 Outback, like I mentioned. It's much, much faster versus my uh, 2005 CRV, for example. I'm going to hit read. And you can see just reading the VIN here, it's very, very quick. And it automatically, almost instantly pulls up that it's a 2020 Outback. And here we go. Let's go right into diagnosis. We'll get into hot functions and vehicle profile in a second here. But let's just dive right in. And I'm not going to do an auto scan because what I want to show you is the control unit. When you see control unit... That is all of the, the stuff that you're seeing here. And auto scan basically will go through, whoops, auto scan will basically go through and do all of that top to bottom and touch every single thing. Let me just back out of here. There we go. Yeah, so auto scan, if you want to hit every single item and every single computer in the car that you're seeing, you know, here that the car's equipped with, I should say then you just go ahead and do auto scan and it's almost like a, a bill of health of the overall car but we're going to jump right into the ecm the engine here 
And let's actually look at, we'll click on all of these here at one point, but uh, let's go right into the trouble codes. I will make note that this vehicle does not have the check engine light on, so we have uh, trouble codes are not detected. I'm just going to hit read codes, and it'll probably tell us the same thing. Yeah, there we go. If we want to do erase codes, we could do that in here. Let's actually look at these special functions. We'll look at the live data in a moment. So simple roughness monitor, interesting, a bunch of stuff in here. Throttle manual adaption. I'm calling it out because we actually have a lot more questions in our comments about that more and more recently, like resetting the throttle, making sure the adaption is 100% so that the car is actually running properly. Uh, but here's a manual oil light reset. Let's just take a look at this here. And this is what I thought it was. So basically this is Subaru step-by-step -step for manually turning the light off. For the oil but uh, you can also do that via software here and we'll show you where that's at in a moment oh uh, what else is in here active test let's see what's in active test okay so fuel pump relay let's see i'm guessing make sure the car is in park we'll do custom list because all data i think it like runs through a ton of different uh, data there so coolant temperature Let's just see what the coolant temperature looks like here. Okay, so 60 degrees. It's been sitting in the uh, garage all night. That makes sense. But let me actually get out of here, and we'll get this set up to do uh, some live data graphing. Uh, let's, uh, let's get that set up now. And we're back at the function menu screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on live data, and we just had to get the uh, garage door open so we don't die from uh, the actual fumes. <laughs> But uh, so here is our actual um, different information and I'm just gonna put my foot on the brake and I'm gonna start the car. And you can see some of our information coming in real time. And I'm just gonna scroll through here and show you. Now, if you wanna actually graph some of this stuff, I won't do the engine uh, speed, the RPMs, do the mass airflow sensor. And we'll do coolant temperature is actually warming up quick, pretty quickly, actually. Let's do a few of these. And let's do a graph merge. So really nice to see this. And obviously our engine's cold. It just started. But uh, it's, warm, it's actually warming up very quickly at 84.2 degrees already. So I'm going to hit the gas, try and idle it down a little bit. But if you're chasing that electrical gremlin, this is a great way to go to actually show what's going on in the uh, in the vehicle and potentially find the sensor that's, that's wonky or starting to go bad. And we're back here at the diagnosis screen. What we want to do now is find the actual like bi-directional control. And I thought that this would be under the uh, the BCM, the body control. But looking through here, there's actually power window driver. What we want to do is see if we can get the uh, driver's side window to go down without actually touching the uh, controls. Should be pretty easy to do. Let me just lean back here. And click OK. And I'm going to do custom list because I don't want all the data. Now the challenge is, is finding the actual power window, window position status. Is it OK? All right, so here we go. It says it's fully closed right now, so I'm going to hit down. There we go. And I stopped it midway, so let me hit up. And I'm going to try and stop it midway. There we go. And you can see hands are right here, but uh, really cool to see that you can actually get into the, uh, the, the functionality here in the bi-directional controls. And that's why we wanted to do this on a newer vehicle, because there's so much more that you can do inside a newer, like a CAN capable, like a CAN equipped vehicle versus say my uh, 2005 CRV. But uh, let's jump back out of here. Let's go into the hot functions. And so here's all your hot functions. Can't remember the exact number that this comes with, but you can see all of the different stuff. And, and this really makes buying an Autel worth it. Whoops, let me swipe, there we go, airbag reset. Other brands have quite a few of these. Uh, these are a very comprehensive list of different things that you can do with the actual uh, auto unit here. Really, really nice to see. Let's go into vehicle profile, not sure what's in here. Let's take a look. Oh, it just tells you your make and model. Okay. One of those, why is that in the uh, software? We already have that information. 
but let's hit escape. And I'm going to hit escape. I want to try and get back to the main screen because I want to show you some of the other stuff that's in here. There we go. Okay, so let's see what service has in it. And so these are all the service functions that we just looked at. Perfect. Okay, so if you need a direct, you know, express checkout, if you will, to that oil light reset or the parking brake getting that uh, reset, uh, injectors is another one we get a lot of questions on. Can this do injector coding? And there's your injector button right there. So, so the rest of this data manager, uh, there's actual, let's take a look here. I believe, yeah, workshop vehicle history. So if you are a shop, it's definitely geared towards a shop owner or someone that's running a lot of cars. Uh, I do see image here. So if you had taken a screenshot, uh, that'd be right there. So we're back at the home screen here, and uh, update is where you get all your actual software updates. Uh, we actually did update this, uh, the firmware and the software in it before we used it. So very easy and fast because it does come with the ability to have Wi-Fi. So very, very nice to just you know push a button, click update, and then just walk away. And in that case, we just walked away because we were recording another video. So uh, remote desktop actually gives you the ability to have Autel log in and see what you're doing, or maybe there's an issue going on with the actual uh, scan tool. You know, the rest of this stuff, let me just swipe, see what's over here. Uh, maxi viewer, maxi video. So a lot of these are just additional tools that will actually uh, give you more expanded capability in here. In this case, this is a log collector. If there's an error in the actual scan tool, this can go back to Autel so that they can refine and further make the software better. Maxi video, let's take a look here. Please connect the inspection camera. Okay, so this needs the optional uh, camera from Autel. And let's see what else is. This is the actual, I thought it's funny that they make the search screen all the way to the left, but that's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, so let's dive back into the diagnostics here and see what else might be in here. Let's just hit auto, and I just want to show you real quick. So I'm going to hit read, and we'll probably speed this up a little bit. There we go. Let's see how long this takes. Okay. Auto scan. So I can tell you this is going markedly faster, extremely fast compared to my personal 05 CRV. This is probably going like five to seven times faster. And let's take a look, and you can see this gives kind of an overall bill of health to the vehicle. We have an air conditioning fault. I'm kind of curious what that is. Okay, so let's go into trouble codes. Now we have a circuit open or low. Interesting. Now if I wanted to uh, erase that, I could. Let's click on search and see what happens here. I'm curious if this needs the internet to actually search or if there's a database inside the actual scan tool. It looks like we're probably gonna need Wi-Fi, but that does give you the ability to dig in to see what that trouble code is, uh, pending you have Wi-Fi wi hooked up. Hey everyone, wanted to mention our website, scantooldepot.com. Whether you need a scan tool, TPMS equipment, ADOS equipment, battery chargers and testers, smoke machines, and a whole bunch more, definitely check out scantooldepot.com. So wrapping up the video here, let me unplug the uh, the MK900. Overall, you know, I like this thing. Uh, the size of it, it feels durable. It feels chunky enough to stand, withstand the rigors of an actual shop, like a commercial shop. Uh, if you're a DIYer, uh, you know, it's worth your money. It's definitely a higher end scan tool, but I would definitely say it's worth spending the money on it. Uh, with that, we'll leave the link for this in the description of the video you're watching now in case you want to check it out, uh, you know, make the informed decision and buy one. 
Also, we'll leave a link for another brand you may never have heard of called Autofix. Autel actually owns the brand Autofix, and we recently did a, a review video on their D1 light scan tool. Very similar in look and feel and function here, but it's definitely a different tool at a slightly different price point that you may be interested, especially as a DIYer. We'll leave the link to that. You should see it like somewhere up here in the corner of the screen. I can't really tell where the corner is, but... Uh, also, we have a ton of different scan tools that we've done reviews on on our channel, Fresh Vintage Garage. And if you're in the market for a scan tool, we probably did a review video on it. So definitely hit up Fresh Vintage Garage, look through all the different videos, because if you're in the market for a scan tool, we very well could have done a video on it. With that, we appreciate you watching. If you like scan tools and shop equipment, if you like keeping your cars certified fresh and on the road, Fresh Vintage Garage is your channel. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.